Hello farmers, this is Priscilla Nyairia, your African fruit farming queen. And today I'm in Kiserian. This is in Kajiado County. Here to plant and introduce the Wambogo apples. And this farm is owned by Madam Betty. I'm very happy to come and plant with her. Hey, hi Priscilla. Hi. Nice to see you. Oh, nice to meet you. Yeah, thanks for coming. I always just see you on uh, YouTube. I'm, oh, I'm, I'm here, I'm follower. here. Yeah. Yes. Okay, so welcome to our farm here. Mm -hmm. uh, my name is Betty Kibara. Yeah. And uh, I am an aspiring apple farmer. Wow. Yes, I have learned about uh, Wamboga apples sometime last year from mm -hmm. Um, my good friend Noah from the Africa Farmers Club. Yes. Yeah, and thereafter I've connected with, with the Wambogo Apple team mm -hmm. and we came for the lounge. Wow. Yeah, and I decided that I don't want to be a theoretical farmer. Uh -huh. um, I want to do farming for, for as a business. Yes. Because as you can see here at the background, mm -hmm. you're seeing maize, yes. and beans. Mm -hmm. And uh, while maize and beans are good, mm -hmm. it's a food crop. Yes. We get food. But we now need to make money yes. from farming. So I have learned a lot about uh, from you and from Kate and from others yes. uh, around the Wambogo apples. And I think um, I don't just want to be theoretical. Yes. I want to try it and prove that it works. And uh, yeah, but we want the farm to be making money to pay for my good stuff here. Yes. Uh, yeah, that's that's our goal, to oh. be able to make money out of the farm and to also use the farm as a demo. Sure, sure. Uh, so that other people in Kajiado, we're actually at the Kajiado County, mm -hmm. we are at uh, in Kiserian. Yes. And uh, as you know, this is a very rough, it's arid mm -hmm. and it's a bit dry, Yeah. Uh, but there is water in the farm. Mm -hmm. And uh, I don't see a lot of fruit trees in mm -hmm. Kajiado, yeah. but I think we want to demonstrate that apples can also grow very well yes. uh, in Kajiado wow. and in other places. And thanks, we are honored to have you today. Thank Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. It's yeah. a pleasure. Yes. So I'm you. very happy that your people have made very good holes. Yes. The holes are big enough. Mm -hmm. Even they have given that allowance for your plant to grow. Yes. And also for the roots to establish. They are two feet cubed holes. Very big. And they are looking very well. So that is a team that did it. Wow. Yes. That's just as well done. Yeah. Well quite... done, just as. Yes. Well done. Well mm -hmm. done. So what we will do? I've seen that. You have manure ready mm -hmm. and I'm tempted to ask this question, where yeah. is your sun heading from? Yeah, so this is east mm -hmm. and uh, this is west. I think when you came to give us guidelines yes. on how to do the holes, yes. you said we needed to orient our farm yeah. uh, east-west. Yeah, Th that is north, north to south. North to south. Yes. yes. Wow. Mm -hmm. I've seen he did that. By the way, we do come to your farm and get to see how how to advise you on how to make the holes and sometimes we might come to your farm where you, are, you have already made the holes or before you make the holes. So we will mix our manure with, uh, with soil. I don't know whether you separated the top soil and the bottom soil. Uh, Did you? Unfortunately they didn't. So what we agreed with them, mm -hmm. when they are planting, mm -hmm. you will remove the top, the, this top one and put it on the side and then where is the soil for this hole? But no problem, we can yeah. still use it because we have, manure. Oh, we have manure. We will use half that bucket. It is a 30 kg bucket. So we'll use half that bucket because even your hole is big. Mm -hmm. Yes. Do we need to put any manure in there before? No, no, no. We will no. just mix here. Oh, okay. Yes. We'll mix the manure here. Okay. That's uh, just us uh, doing the mixing. Yeah. Yeah, you mix 10 kgs of manure in a hole. But in this case, because your hole are big, to hold even more than 10 kgs, that's why we are doing about 15 kilos. Yes, and then you will put some, your mixed soil and manure in the hole, and then we will come plant at the top. Okay. Yes. Does, you can it, add does it matter whether it's goat manure or cow manure? No, no, no. Animal manure. We okay. go for animal manure because it's organic. Yes. Yes. It's yes, it's enough. You cannot bring one of our plants there. 
yeah do you love the plants that i brought you yes actually what i like about the plant mm -hmm. uh, is um, where you have done the the grafting the grafting mm -hmm. uh, you have grafted up here so yes. that once you plant, then uh, this is far away from the soil. I think I really like it. Wow. And then I like the feel of the... Of the soil. Of the soil. I think you have really taken care of your seedlings. We have to. Yes. Because we must provide you quality plants. Uh -huh. And then, always make sure that you remove anything below the graft. You can see we have some plants that are growing from the soil. Yes. Never forget to do that because you find that these ones are eating from the soil and mm -hmm. they will come to overtake your grafted wamboko Okay. So we plant at the middle. Mm -hmm. okay. I have to be part of that planting yes. in the middle. Just as. Bring more this is our manure. Baby. Okay, you bring more manure. Yes. And you don't have to squeeze this one. No, 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 no. No need to squeeze you it. You don't have to. Okay. What we would have done is maybe putting some water. Why don't you add this? I saw them doing this, yes. dipping it in, dipping this like in, in the water. Yes, yes, yes. Yeah, for the next okay. one. You can even leave it there for some time. Mm -hmm. Is this soil good for or just it's, it's good, it's good. It will mix well with your soil. Actually, it's the same soil with ours. And what happens during the rainy season? Do they get flooded? Or, yes, I mean, if uh, you leave these basin. Uh -huh. Fill to the top. Oh, you fill to the raining. top. But now, because it's dry season, uh -huh. we, we don't have to fill. But we will have to fill to cover this part. Yeah. Okay, so you need to add. Eh? Yes. Okay. Yes. Mm -hmm. You can add more. You just leave a small space to be holding the water. Mm. Yes. We are very excited about starting the this journey. Yeah, it's a it's a journey which we are starting now. Mm -hmm. Hopefully, we can get uh, to one acre by the end of uh, the season. Yes. Yes, that's our yeah. goal. Very soon. Yes. Mulch it. Uh -huh. Yes, you can mulch it, but now we have to water it. Okay, no, you take it, take the... Mm -hmm. Oh, no. Oh, that's the problem of doing exactly. Now I see. Yes, you see? <laughs> yes. But this one, we can just plant it like this. Yes. We what we will do, because I am sure it has been shocked, we mm -hmm. remove the leaves. Oh, you remove, you remove the leaves? Now that one will not be shocked. It mm -hmm. will gain new leaves. Okay. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's how you can do it. Yeah. So we told you we have water here. Mm -hmm. Yes. Just uh, water the whole bucket. The water has disappeared or what? No. Okay. Mm -hmm. We can go to the next hole and then plant it. So this is the same soil as your soil? Yes. Okay. We have the same soil. Mm -hmm. So we massage it mm -hmm. and then you remove the paper. Oh, and you remove the paper. Yes. Okay. Yes. You undress it. <laughs> undress it. Yes. This is so cool. It's hard to believe this is going to be a big tree. It is. Mm -hmm. Very soon. Within nine months, we'll start enjoying your... Within Fruits. nine months you are coming here. Can you yes. mark that? She says oh. within nine months. We are on March. March. Uh -huh. So December, December, January, yes. With December, this December? Yes, December, January. We'll be enjoying some fruits. Yes. All right, you tell us. But whether. before then I do farm follow up. So mm -hmm. if I happen to be around this area, I yeah. will pass by and get to see how your plants are doing. You know, it's always good to follow up on how your farmers are doing. Yes. So that to guide them. And you are very good at following farmers. Yes, we, yeah, have, to, we, we always... have to succeed. Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay. Mm. This is good. And because my graft is at the top here, mm -hmm. so we can, we will not put more soil like we did on the other one. Just okay. add some. Add soil. Yes. That is the advantage of having tall plants. So is this based from the feedback? 
uh, that you receive from yes. farmers? Yes. Okay. Based from the feedback, they want these plants that are grafted at the top because even you should not cover the grafting oh, part with the soil. With the soil. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And also, I deliver the one that we have removed the tape because at some point the people in the farm might forget to remove. I had an experience like that uh -huh. in my other farm. Wow. Yeah. I'm sorry for that mm -hmm. because I know the experience was not good. Yes, it was not good. I've seen that you already put the factors in place and mm -hmm. especially the factor to do with water. Mm -hmm. Because if you plant without enough water, mm -hmm. I will not lie to you that your plants will dry up. Mm -hmm. So it's good before you even start making the holes, make sure that you know yeah. where to get your so water So we have from. water, we actually have drip lines mm -hmm. that uh, it's right there. So mm -hmm. we'll be connecting the drip lines. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Water, I can see you have manure. Manure, we are in Maasai land. Wow, manure you are given plenty. for free. <laughs> no, it was not for free, <laughs> but it's affordable. Wow, yes, wow. not yes, like yes. ours, it's very expensive. Uh -huh. I have also seen that you have fenced the land it's, yeah, the for fencing. security yeah. reasons. Mm -hmm. Because this is an investment, very soon you will start harvesting. Yes. And anybody can harvest on your behalf and go to sell the apples yeah, in their market. So it's good to consider a fence that the person who is outside is not seeing what is happening mm -hmm. yeah, inside. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and also the knowledge, that's why I'm here to train people here. Mm -hmm. And that's why I was here on Monday, like four days. Ago. Yes, you are. Four, yeah, thanks. So first, I want to appreciate you were here the other day. When yeah. we call you, you are very responsive mm -hmm. and you came all the way you showed my team how to make the whole yes. measurements and all that yeah and you've kept your promise, promise. today you're here wow yes. thank you thank mm -hmm. you that's mm -hmm. why i'm here yes to always guide you and we walk together yes. this journey of wambogo apples yeah the issue on market whenever you have ready fruits mm -hmm. i will come back it is in january next year i will come back to harvest with you and we go to the market together a kilo right now farm price is at 300. you are buying at 300. yes okay yes. so i should and, and is it uh this this price this market is it a short-term market or is it a long-term? Will I invest today and then five years down the line, uh, you are nowhere to be seen? It's a long-term. Wambogo Apple has a lifespan of 80 years. 80 years? Yes, 80, oh, zero 80 years. Zero. Yes. Mm -hmm. So, it's a very good investment okay. to do. Mm -hmm. And uh, putting in mind that we are providing both the local and export market. Yes. Yes. Oh, okay. So you come and do you, how, how, how long do you wait to be paid after delivery? One week. Oh, one week. One week and sometimes we come with cash. Oh, yes. I don't bring cash here. But, uh. <laughs> <laughs> All right, that's come good. With cash. Okay, so can you advise my, uh, because as much as this is my farm, yes. I am doing other things. Yes. Uh, the people that you need to talk to are this one here. Mm -hmm. um, just telling them what is a regular care, like mm -hmm. how many times do they have to uh, water the plant, mm -hmm. what do they need to do. Uh, yeah, just give him some tips. Yeah, if you are watering, yeah. like the one we have just watered, like you have given excess water, mm -hmm. you should water twice in a week. Mm -hmm. Yes, how, About excess. how much water should you give per week? 20 how many liters? 20 liters. Two times or once? Yeah, two times. Two times a Here week. it's very hot, so it's like 40 liters a week. Mm -hmm. And sometimes if it is not very hot, you can do 30 mm -hmm. liters per week. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and then you will add manure after three months from now. Mm -hmm. After how three much months. Manure? Now the whole of that bucket, 20 kgs, mm -hmm. you will come add it around this basin. You will make better basins. I saw you are doing a very good job in making the basins. Yes, yes you will just make the basin and then apply your manure. Okay. That is the basic care. And also making sure you are taking care of the grafted area. And just in case you notice anything, you know a plant communicate through the leaves. In case you notice any change from the leaf, maybe changing the color, folding, you should communicate so that we guide you. So yeah. does he send photos to you yes. on WhatsApp? Yes. Okay, and then does this, uh, are there any diseases, pests that we should look out for? The diseases and pests are, are encouraged by whatever you are intercropping with. Yes. So if you, for you here, you are just being wambugu apples, yeah, you have mm -hmm. minimal chances of having the diseases and the pests. Can we do beans? I saw you had done beans earlier. In one of but your... beans are attracting the pests. Aphids. Yes, uh -huh. aphids, uh -huh. those white flies, mm -hmm. the rust. Mm -hmm. So it's not a good idea. So tell us about uh, 
uh, any any so do we need to apply any chemicals or if any, any you should apply the rabbit urine or <laughs> organic vegetative foliar to boost the growth okay but if they get to one meter you tip tipping is cutting the heads yes yes yeah, so that they can now branch okay yes. at what point should we encourage fruiting because i've seen some of them on your videos mm. they get uh, the, the flowers flowers mm -hmm. very fast like mm -hmm. after five six months nine months <laughs> nine months y yes okay because even if they get at five some even immediately once after you plant mm -hmm. because they are like in my bag here mm -hmm. they were limited mm -hmm. when the meal they were taking mm -hmm. but now you have taken it to the farm where they have all the meals so some of them will shoot by having the mm -hmm. flowers you okay. should allow the flowers to mature to fruits after nine months okay yes uh the buds Birds we cover in a bird net mm -hmm. or the small nets we use, mm -hmm. no more nets, they like the one you are using to harvest the onions, mm -hmm. those ones are doing very well. Okay. You can also consider installing bird nets in your farm. Mm -hmm. That's gonna be quite pricey for the whole of this farm. But you can yeah. do it after harvesting. Oh, <laughs> I love that after harvesting. Yes. Okay. Where? Wow, I think that's uh, good. Yes. Uh, so in short, they don't need a lot of like super care apart from watering and watering, monitoring yes. that there are no pests and diseases yes um, and then manuring every we talked about uh, three months every three months yes uh, yeah and we are free to call you anytime yes you are free to call by. me yes okay any question kunaswal it's your opportunity to ask any yes. question about any treatment okay mm -hmm. uh -huh. um, but just in case you face any challenge, yeah. make sure you reach out to me. Take a photo, send yes. to you. Send to me and yeah. then we can see what is the problem. And we understand we you also have other farmers. So yes, when around this Ongatarungai, we have them in Kiserian okay. yes, and Gong area. Okay, are we allowed to do any maize here? Mahindi? Mahindi, no. no. But so, you can do it, hmm. this space in between. Hmm. Yes, actually Mahindi will encourage competition of height. Mm -hmm. at this stage because you have just planted and you want them to grow tall mm -hmm. but after harvesting that season you should not plant another mahini so if you have to plant plant it right now or if we do maize it's okay but yeah. it has to be hey, but now apana they will be covered by maize and you will not be you will leave this water. space <laughs> yes you will not know whether they have been not, yeah, it's I a challenge we, we, we yes. are not, yeah yeah <laughs> but we can't do like pumpkins or pumpkins will Ooh, they bring a lot of white flies and pests Oh, yes. green white, white flies and pests. Yes, maybe okay. you can do some spinach. Oh, spinach. Yes. Oh, okay. Okay, yes. okay that's good. Maybe some All right, spinach. so thank you so much. We are very, very excited. You are most welcome. Uh, uh, what I like also is the fruits. They look very, I mean, the, the plants look very healthy. Thank you. And uh, they are tall. Yes. Yeah, so hopefully by you'll come back after... Come back. Maybe three months. Yes. We want you to come after three months when we are tipping. Mm -hmm. And then... Uh, come back when they are this size and, and come then back we'll when harvesting. they are harvesting. Wow. Yeah. And <laughs> so I'm coming back three times. You. I follow you on YouTube. Thank you. Your, your, your messaging is very well packaged. I highly appreciate. Yeah. Thank you. And uh, we are inviting you to do, we want to do dragon fruits, uh, the other two acres. Mm -hmm. um, so we'll be inviting you. I understand your dragon fruits are self-fertilized. Yes. Fa pollinated. Fa pollinated, not yes. fertilized. Yeah. So. I'm coming. All right. Thank yes. you so much. Most appreciated. Welcome. Yes. Asante. Wow. So I was asking, mm -hmm. like, after those nine months, mm -hmm. how many fruits do we expect from one apple plant? Okay, you expect about 50 to 100 apple plants, apple fruits from one plant, and that means about 10 kilos. So you are expecting about 3,000 Kenya shillings from a single plant. A single so if you have yeah. an acre which is carrying about 800, you can see you're expecting about 2.4 million per season, not per year. How many seasons then do you have? Three seasons per In year. A year. Yes. Hey, that sounds so good to be true. Are you sure? <laughs> it is true. <laughs> Very true. Uh -huh. Yes. Uh -huh. It has three seasons per year. Three seasons per year. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, that's very it is. Wow. Yes. Three, yeah, three seasons a year. It's not. It's one, not a one season, three. three seasons. I always talk to young people that it's not a must you get employed. I love education so much yeah. because it actually opens up your mind. Yeah. But don't allow those papers 
to close your mind and thinking capacity. You should think outside the papers. Get the knowledge, yes, but now come to investment. But now I need to ask you, what is your background? I know you have a degree. You speak very well like someone who went to a very good school. Tell us about your background. Uh, I, I've always thought you, you must have done agriculture, uh, agronomy or something no, like that. No, no, no. Uh -huh. Actually, I left agriculture back in Form 2 or Form 1. So uh -huh. We are there. And then? I'm a computer scientist. Computer scientist? Who is doing the apples? Who is doing the apples? Uh -huh. Yeah, that is how life is. Were, and you, I, were, I, were you ever employed? Yes, I was employed as a receptionist. Uh -huh. Yes. Uh -huh. Yeah, I also loved mathematics, so I was doing CPAs. Uh -huh. Yeah, I'm good at managing my, my accounts. Uh -huh. Yes. Wow, that's so good. And now you have, you know, you're using the skills that yes, you learned. I'm in, using uh, the skills that I learned yeah. back in school uh -huh. to apply them into farming. Oh, okay. And also into my business, actually. Okay. Yes. Yeah, I hope you can inspire the young people. Yes. This is one of my mentees I'm trying to mentor mm -hmm. and encourage them. But they are telling me, Mama, we want to see you making money mm -hmm. from farming. So you will make, make money before they graduate. I haven't made money in maize and beans. Mm -hmm. So that's why I'm excited about this project. Yes. So that I'm not just a theoretical person mm -hmm. talking about the potential, mm -hmm. but I want to see the potential applied in my farm. Sure. Yeah. Sure. All sure. Right. And here is the pot potential. Potential. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> That's great. Yes. All right, thanks so much. Wow. So we will continue with the, with the rest of the planting. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, by the end of the day, mm -hmm. most likely we will have finished with all the plants. Sure, you have the manpower. We have the manpower mm -hmm. here. I highly appreciate you, Madam Betty, mm -hmm. and your staff here. I'm so happy that they are cooperating and also they are good people that you can teach. You know, in some farms you can go and, but the people there, they are not teachable. They know it all. So thank you very much. I hope you will take care of these kids. No child should die from the one that we have brought yeah, here. No child should die. Yes. Sure. So thank you very much for watching my today's video. Yeah, to show you that it's doable for those people who are around an area, those people in Ajedo County. And in case you want this product, that is the Wambogo apple seedling. We have them well healed, tall enough, and they are shooting very well. You can reach us in my email account. You can also reach me in my numbers. And also, you're most welcome to our farm in Laikipia County. That is Wonderful Heaven Fruits Orchard. If you are new into farming and you want to invest in Wambogo apples, we train people on how to do it. My name is Priscilla Nyairia your African fruit farming queen. If you need the seedling, one is at 1,000 Kenya shillings. And for export purpose, it is at 10 US dollars. And we deliver globally, both locally and outside the country. So thank you very much. Kindly like, share, comment, and also subscribe to my YouTube channel. Bye-bye. See you in my next video.